Hello everyone, it's Haller again. I'm here to bring you Direct Strike. It is an arcade game of StarCraft 2 and it's a 3v3. It's pretty fun. Essentially what you do is if you've ever played Desert Strike, it is the same thing but different with commanders. That's the little bit of a twist that you get. So essentially you have a little base and you make your units and they go from your base to the middle, they battle it out, and as your team wins or loses, the line gets moved further or closer away from your base to theirs. And once you do that, the whole thing that happens is, um, oh man, I lost my train of thought. Anyways, what happens is you destroy um, their bunker at the midpoint, you get money, you destroy their command base at the end, um, and you win the game, essentially. So I'm gonna be bringing to you right now a character called Swain. He's a mechanical unit based guy. Um, he's really cool, although you have to kind of wait until he gets to later tiers to get really strong. Uh, so what I like to do is I like rushing uh, tier 3 almost right off the bat with the exception of building his laser. And then I upgrade it one time and then that's all I do until tier 2 I upgrade his laser one more time. And then by then I have tier 3. And once I get tier 3 that's when I start bringing out his bigger units because they have stun effects. Um, and then they just have really high tank ability. Until then, your units usually can't absorb as much damage or deal as much damage. Uh, so I find just doing that first is the easiest thing to do. So our friendly team is myself in the first spot, Swain. And then we got Artanis in the second spot. Third spot is another Artanis. So the laser that I've been talking about, essentially what happens is it shoots across the map so long as it has vision and it does continuous damage and it focuses down and uses and then just keeps going and selecting other targets. It looks like we're facing against a Stukov as one of the people and a Tychus. I will let you know the third one as soon as I actually pay attention enough to see it. I think the third person is going to be Zagara. Upgrade complete. Hammer Try to get a couple of Aries out right away. Aries are the more affordable version of the Thor. Not enough minerals. Then I'll get my uh, next level in laser. Research complete. So here's my first wave, we'll see how well it does against uh, Stukov's um, kind of spam. Then I want to get the barrage because that's the stun effect on the Thor. Usually you don't want to buy upgrades on single units. But since that's kind of my ultimate unit, I'm willing to do that since I'm going to continuously keep investing in them. And then when you do see air spam, 
He has a really great response. Um, it's Goliath, and essentially Goliath can attack both air and ground with an upgrade, and then you can keep increasing their range. So it just becomes super, super powerful. I don't remember if I can barrage the sky. I don't think I can. Yeah, his cooldown's still up. So here we go, here's the barrage. I just barrage the middle part. And then what I'm gonna do is after this Ares, I'm gonna go ahead and get a science vessel. Because what happens with science vessels is they can uh, just heal things and then um, on top of that they can do the defensive matrix and that just increases the longevity of your uh, team. They are also a detector. Usually I try to get two of them at a time, but in this case I just want to keep pumping out more units. I just got one help out real quick just to help absorb some of the damage. Since I am going against light ones, uh, I would do this upgrade, but before I do that I want to make sure I get at least one more out. I really hate doing one-off upgrades unless it's like your ultimate character. I get one more Ares and then I'll save for another Thor. Let's look at upgrades. So far he's got 0-0 zero, zero upgrades, which is pretty normal at this point. Our, one of our Tannis teammates has 1-1-1 one, one, one upgrades across the board. Looks like my wave's able to clean this up pretty easily. Um, I will get a couple of Goliaths. Not enough minerals. Get one more Goliath, hopefully before this uh, goes, and then I'll upgrade their range. Alright, let me look for the... Alright, I want them to attack both at the same time, and then I want them to have the increased range. And so we'll do that. And then I'm going to save after this, I'm going to save for one more science vessel, and then I'll do the upgrade for the defensive matrix. And that will help keep everything alive. But now with those two upgrades I did for the glass, it should be fairly easy for them to wipe up the mutas. And then I'm gonna start, uh, oh man, I forgot that one. Get one more science vessel. Now I'm gonna start saving for some siege tanks after I do one more upgrade, which is this one right here. And this one. <laughs> Two more upgrades. Research complete. Complete. What's happening is my waves are getting broken up, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reposition these. Let's set some on fire. Burn, baby, burn. Can't waste 
That way it delays their uh, departure. And maybe I can get one tank out. There we go, we got one tank. Hopefully I'll get one more tank to come out next round. If not, two tanks, and then I'll do the upgrade for the tanks. Let me check on, see what people are upgrading. He's got a lot of upgrades so far. Okay, here's the delayed fire bat. See, alright, so it looks like my units are coming out as a team now. Looks like the people got a couple upgrades. So I'm going to go ahead and get one more tank. Now I'm going to start trying to do some upgrades. There's the tank upgrade. Now I'm going to want to try to get one-on-one -on -one upgrades. Then after this I'll get the one where science vessels don't have to use mana to repair, which is right here. Here's my wave again. So it looks like I was able to clean up that wave completely, now I'm just fighting against the Tychus wave. So I can do a few things here. Um, I can build a couple more of these, and then I can keep building tanks. And then I can keep buffing this line right here. But I am going to upgrade the range so that my tanks can shoot even further. So usually what happens when you take the third bunker, or the, the bunker, you get your third gas. Looks like my teammates are one gas each. I'm just gonna save that money real quick. Should have enough money to get another Goliath. And then I'm going to go for 2-2 upgrades at the 13 minute mark. Get a few more Goliaths. I'm going Goliath so I can continuously keep working on the air since it seems like they get a lot of air units that come in. Looks like my siege tanks are hanging in there a few levels. He's calling for income. I think I'm okay for two right now. I, I think what I really want is get that last level up there. 
I get this upgrade, then I'll get the gas. Since it does it in order of uh, how much money. Upgrade cool, so now my units are maxed out. Let's check on my laser real quick. Laser with 140 kills. Meaning it gets the final kill. That was supposed to be just a teammate, but I might have hit shift on accident. But anyways, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed my game. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to highlight any other commanders in particular. Um, until next time guys, thank you for watching.